You guys know what time it is. A new month means a brand new box from Master's World. We've got that Obelisk Blue subscription box being opened up today. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Cardbreaker. Welcome back to another amazing video. Like you guys heard on the intro, we've got another Obelisk Ooh, Blue yeah. Astros Roll subscription box coming at you today. These boxes are always loaded, always have the best assortment of packs you can possibly find anywhere. And it just so happens that if you guys are interested in picking up these boxes, I will link Astros Roll subscription, everything down below in the description. But if you're interested, make sure that you reference me. We both get a free pack if you do that. These boxes are well worth it. He's got three different tiers, so you don't have to go for the exact one I'm going with. Um, you know, if you guys haven't seen them on the channel before, these boxes just come with a great assortment of packs, like I mentioned before, that's always a good variety each time. And if you don't feel like opening them, it's great to keep sealing the collection, but I won't bore you guys with any more of that information. Let's go ahead and crack into this box. So this is what that box looks like. But actually, before we get into that, we do have the giveaway. Don't want to get ahead of myself now. <laughs> so I've got five secret rares from Brothers of Legend. I'm gonna give out to one lucky winner. So all you guys have to do is leave a like, drop a comment letting us know what you think of these boxes from Obelisk, or excuse me, Astros World. And then of course, be a subscriber, ring that bell. Let me know that you guys like the content and you guys do like these boxes. These boxes are usually a pretty big hit. I'll show you guys what they look like. So it has that little tab there and then Obelisk Blue, <laughs> Astros World. So great guy, he is from the UK. He's from across the pond if you're here in America. Get this open real quick, excuse the noise. Um, but like I said, these boxes, they come in three different assortments. The one that I get each month is the Obelisk Blue version. He does have a raw yellow and slifer red. So this was his Christmas one. It came in a little late for me just because it is, you know, was well, Christmas time and everything. But it looks like we've actually got some festive packs and stuff down in here. So guys, what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna get this wrapping off of the boxes here. We got a star pack, pretty cool. And then go over all the different packs that we have so you guys can check it out. I'll count them and show you guys what we have. So guys, give me just a minute, I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back. I've got our packs unwrapped from that lovely blue Astros World, uh, especially packaging. <laughs> Very Christmas themed, you know, it is a little late for this one after the New Year's of course, but you know, I really do appreciate all the hard work he puts into those boxes. And guys, I promise you will not be disappointed. Every time I've opened up one of these boxes, it's nothing but pure joy, pleasure, but, you know, I want to show you guys what we do have in this box today. It is loaded with some epicness and another, if you guys saw last month's video, it has another exclusive pack in here that is just, it's, can't wait. <laughs> All right, so we got a Star Pack, Brothers of Legend, a Phantom Rage, First Edition Dark Neostorm, Invasion Vengeance, Genesis Impact, King's Court, Ancient Guardians, a First Edition Soul Fusion, First Edition Cybernetic Horizon, First Edition, Cyber, excuse me, Extreme Victory, Gosh, Extreme Force, <laughs> Dawn of Majesty, and a Toon Chaos. So we are definitely saving that one for last. So we're just gonna go ahead and get cracked into this. So we've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 packs today. So like I said, guys, if you are interested in checking this out, make sure you hit that link down in the description below and let Aster know on Instagram that you are, um, that I did refer you because you get a free pack and who doesn't like free stuff? So guys, definitely, definitely check these boxes out. Even if you want to just keep the product sealed, it is well worth it. You know, uh, I believe these boxes work out to around 40 or so dollars and it's, it's worth it every single time. And then on our star pack, oh, we actually got an elemental hero. Um, that is pretty cool. So these star packs do have that star foil uh, kind of rarity there. Very cool, very unique, very different. All right, Brothers of Legend, can we get a one pack magic with this one? It does have some amazing secret rares in here. It does have a starlight potential. Let's see what we can get in today's pack. We've got Dr. D, Thought World Archfiend, a Silent Sea Nettle, and a Wing Requital. So nope, no big hitter on that one there. That is okay. All right, on to our next pack. We've got Phantom Rage. Can we pull a Starlight Rare? There's definitely some awesome cards to be pulled in this pack here. Let's see what we can get. Virtual World, Genator. We got a Raid Raptor, UA player, and then we have another Raid Raptor. So just a Super Rare, unfortunately, in that pack there. And then nothing too crazy after that. So that is okay. Um, you know, with these packs, uh, they are they aren't scaled, so I do see where people that share, um, you know, whenever they get their boxes in and open their packs, they get alternate rares, they get ghost rares, starlight rares. 
So my luck just doesn't always seem to be the best uh, with these, but I'm not going to give up. And I do this just because for one, I love mystery boxes and two, it is honestly just great content uh, for you guys. I like to give back to you all and let you guys get a taste of, you know, different products and different ideas and things you guys can try out yourself. All right, do we have something? We got a super rare. I think with these packs, super rares are guaranteed. I think you're guaranteed a rare and a super rare. Uh, we got a Neo Super Quantal Mech King Blaster Magna. Why? Why, 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 why? Why is that the name? <laughs> All right, we've got an Invasion Vengeance First Edition Booster Pack. Can we pull the cover card? Um, I think it's like Odd Eyes Venom Dragon or something like that. Uh, something along those lines, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Performa Pal. We've got a Pandora's Jewelry Box. Pretty cool. Pretty plant. Cypher Mirror Knight, we've got a Constellar Tempest, and we've got a King's Synchro, so no Ultra Rare there. All right, guys, come on. We need some luck. We need you to smash the like button for this one. We are going to pull a Collector's Rare and a Genesis Impact right now. Haven't pulled a Collector's Rare on the channel. Haven't pulled a Ghost Rare on the channel. I've pulled, I think, one Ultimate Rare. So, guys, 2022 is the year. We are going to pull one of every Extreme Rarity that there is. I'm dying to pull a Starlight. I have pulled a Ghost Rare. That was before I started doing videos. And when I got back, we got an Ultra Rare. Okay, so in a set that's guaranteed to get at least a Super Rare, we actually got a really cool looking Ultra Rare. I don't think it's one of the more valuable ones. As always, I will pop up prices on the screen. So a Zoroa, uh, the Majestus of Flame. Very cool one, nonetheless. On to King's Court. Can we get one of those Collector's Rares? Can we get a God Card? They are found in this set. All right, we got a Queen's Knight. We've got an, an Eternal Bond, a Warrior Returning Alive, Rivalry of the Warlords. Wind up, Constellar, and I feel like I get this card every single time. Every time I open up <laughs> King's Court for Master's Road, I think, I think he sneaks that one in there for me. I think he does. All right, we are on to Ancient Guardians. That is, what, three Collector's Rare sets in a row. And we get a collector's rare, guys. I love collector's rares. Um, I've actually been kind of picking up some here and there whenever I see them really cheap. And actually, a lot of them are really, really cheap. I'm very surprised how inexpensive a lot of the collector's rares are. So, like, now is the best time to get in on them if you're looking for some beautiful-looking cards to put in your collection. Or Sartic Mictanus. So, no collector's rare there. Not even an ultra. All right, we are on to Soul Fusion. Um, I think this one actually, is this the one that has an invocation? I can't remember. I know it has a couple uh, big hitters as far as Secret Rare goes, so maybe we can get one of those today. We got uh, Orchestrated Attack, Thunder Dragon Discharge, and a Nolan Knight uh, IVN, EVN, something like that. Okay, so guys, we are getting down to it. We've got, what, three packs left. We've got a first edition Cybernetic Horizon. Um, I think there's still that rares in this pack. I don't remember exactly what they are, if there's any in here, but maybe there is. Maybe we can get something in this pack. Let's go, guys. Beast of Magic Attack, Crusadia, Dragoonity Legion, Dragoonity Knight, and a Wee Witch Apprentice. Just the Wee Witch. <laughs> That's actually a really funny name. Beautiful foil, by the way. Beautiful foil. Always cool. You know, you always want to get the amazing cards, the big pulls, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to simply just open packs and enjoy doing this, you know, just for the fun of it. All right, Extreme Force, before we move on to our last pack of the night, which is, uh, oh no, excuse me, we have Dawn of Majesty. Cannot forget about that one. Cannot forget about the Stardust Dragon that's in that pack, too. <laughs> All right, we got a Call of the Archfiend, a Link Hole. Dang you, Link Hole. <laughs> Tendangle. Oh, we just Ruxin special right past it into the Hey Trunade. Why did they change this from Giant Trunade? Is it still the same card and same effect and everything? I'm pretty sure it is. But that is a secret rare, guys. We actually did get a secret rare first edition Hey Trunade. That is actually really cool, really menacing, really creepy. So I will, I will take that. You know, I will take any victory I can when doing these openings. Um, just because you, you've you got one chance, one chance with all these different packs, and if you can get it, awesome. If not, then it just wasn't your night, <laughs> unfortunately. Alrighty, let's go, Dawn of Majesty. You've been decent to us. Can we at least get a... S nope. <laughs> we cannot get a secret rare. No secret rare from Dawn of Majesty. That is okay. 
All right, guys, we're on to the biggie of the night. We are on to that Tune Chaos. Second time I've ever opened this set, and coincidentally, the second time comes from Astro's World himself as well. So let's see, can we get any, any collector's rare? I don't even care which one it is. I just want to get a collector's rare pulled on the channel, especially from Tune Chaos, because there's so many big ones. Like Chaos, uh, Emperor Dragon, like Blackluster Soldier, Gear Breed, Witch of the Black Forest, and do we have one? Uh, we do not, but we do have an Ultra Rare. So this one actually does come in Collector's Rare 2. So that is an Immortal Phoenix Gear Free. That is actually a really cool card to pull. Not too upset about that one, you know. At least we got an Ultra Rare where on a set you're not even guaranteed to get any. Uh, Ultra Rares, I think you do get a Super Rare with these, if I'm not mistaken. So very cool, very, very cool. So all together, you know, we didn't get a whole lot of pulls. We got a couple decent ones. So, you know, that uh, Gear Freed was one of them. So we got the Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. We got the Hey Truenade, um, our Ultra Rare Zoroi, the Magic the Flame. And then, I don't know why I put this one there. Which one is this from? Those from Chronic Guardian. You don't belong there. You're just a super. So just these three pulls mostly. Um, that's kind of our big takeaway from that. But, you know, regardless, these boxes from Astro World are amazing because it gives us content like this that we can open up, you know, a big assortment of packs from many different sets, many different years, first edition, all different stuff. But like I said, guys, if you are interested, make sure you click that link down in the description down below and make sure you reference my name if you are interested just so we both get some free stuff. Who doesn't love free packs? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed your time here. If you are new, please consider subscribing, smashing that like button, dropping a comment, and ringing that bell. But I do hope you guys have a nice day. Have a nice night. I will see you guys on the next one. This is Card Breaker. I'm out.